GTA 4. We are doing the dating. Double A Gamer for Life. We're on the second part with Alex. And throughout the videos, I pretty much just let the it ride. Uh, what's going on? I'm not doing a whole lot of commentary. The whole thing about the dating is the dialogue that's happening between Nico and them. And uh, at the end of the last video, Alex calls you and gives you her special ability, which gives you a 50% discount on clothes, but it only lasts for 24 hours within the game. So it's only basically a one-time thing. So if that's something that you were into, you'd have to run around to all the stores and buy up everything that you wanted. Me, personally, I did not use it at all. And uh, like all the females, uh, they got their little bit of a psycho side to them and uh, whatever that is. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and let this roll and uh, the comedy scenes are left in, but everything else uh, is not really needed. So I'll just chime in at the end. Now, Mr. Ricky Gervais. Oh, thank you. Hi. Wow, thank you very much. What a lovely welcome. As you know, I do a lot of charity work. But in all honesty, I think that some causes are more worthy than others. Obviously, cancer is a very worthy cause. AIDS is a very worthy cause. But I got asked to do a benefit gig recently for sufferers of obesity. What? Sufferers of obesity. I said, you mean fat people? <laughs> she went, no, because obese, well, she actually went, no, because ob she was eating. So she went, obesity is a disease. Oh, no, it's not, is it? No, it's not. You just like eating, don't you? How is that a disease? Oh, I'm so fucking ill. Oh, I am well ill. I went, what's the disease? She went, Everything tastes good. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> not salads. It's not a disease. Leprosy is a disease. Can you imagine Jesus in the temple? People coming up to him in bandages going, Jesus, my flesh is falling off. And he goes, I can't stop now. There's a fat woman over there on her third pie. <laughs> Saw a documentary about a woman who was 350 pounds, because she ate 10 pie and chips a day. That'll do it. <laughs> 10 pie and chips a day, 10 separate meals, 10 separate trips to the chip shop, in a cab, didn't even walk back, <laughs> wasted calories. So in this documentary, they wired her jaw together to try and stop her eating. So she liquidized 10 pie and chips a day. <laughs> pie smoothies. Now she's not even chewing. That used up 10 calories. So uh, they took her to hospital to give her that operation where they staple your stomach together. And she was sitting there in hospital, looking all depressed. Well, you can't eat for an hour before an operation, can you? And she went, it's, it's a dangerous operation, but it's the only option left. Huh? <laughs> One, jogging. Oh, you don't even walk. Um, <laughs> salads? You don't like salads? Okay. Nine pie and chips a day? That's a start, isn't it? They make excuses, don't they, fat people? They say things like, it's glandular. It's not glandular, it's green. It's big bones. Yeah, big bones covered in meat and gravy. Unbelievable. Always complain. Oh. Aeroplane seats. <laughs> they're not big enough for someone like me. No, they're not. Because if they were, we'd get 12 fucking people on the plane. <laughs> it's not fair. It is fair. You ate too much. And if we're talking about fairness and aeroplanes, why is it that I get the same luggage allowance as a guy who's 400 pounds? We're both allowed 32 kilograms on the plane. I want to go, no, he used to 
stuff is 32 kilograms on his tip. <laughs> Thanks very much. Good night. Enjoy your meals. Not you. You've had enough. Some people from here have a tough time getting work, too. I haven't had any trouble. <laughs> it's not just because I've never had a paying job, because I'm an intellectual. Yeah, work is sometimes hard to come by. You cannot leave your apartment in this city without spending money, so I guess you need to work. Tell me about it. I walk down the street, next thing I know, I've seen three pairs of shoes that I have to have, and it's time to call Daddy and get the limit on my credit card extended. <laughs> it's not really what I meant. So, you got a fancy college degree that gets you noticed? I went to college. I was going to be a psych major, but I found it too easy. I mean, you know, I really understand people already. I know what they want and what they're feeling. How is some professor going to be able to give me a grade on what I already know? So you left college? Yeah. <laughs> and I couldn't stand to be away from liberty either. College parties are just for losers who don't get let into Mason F9. I don't think I'd get let into a college party or Mason F9. I think we both want me to come inside. Well, don't just stand there, stupid. You won't regret this. Got me in the right mood. Oh, I love being naughty. Do your work for me, Nico. You've caught me in the right mood. Oh, I love being naughty. Dad, get you online. Did you? You want to go on a date? No, you're still on the scene, are you? <laughs> I'll go on a date with you, Nico. Pick me up in the next hour. I'll come collect you then. Let's go, my mysterious European. car was the first step towards self-improvement. Well done, Nico. I think I preferred what you were wearing last time. the opening party of this place, it was wild. It used to be impossible to get a table there, and you can see why. You've been reading my blog. It was really funny this week. Yes, uh, it, it was hysterical. <laughs> I know, but it was also true. And that's what this guy told me that I was dating last night. He told me what was so amazing about my writing was that it was funny and tender and heartbreakingly original. All at the same time. Clever guy. Yeah, he's amazing. But don't worry, not all the guys I date have to be intellectuals. Gee, thanks. I like variety. Anyway, did I tell you? I'm making a movie. No, well done. What's it about? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't written it yet. <laughs> but this other guy I was dating told me that he'd invest and that I should and that I have a lot of talent. And I think he's right. I'm sure he is. Yes. I always knew I'd be a filmmaker. I have a very strong visual sense. Yes. It's going to be amazing. 
It's going to be the great American novel, only a movie. Sounds easy. Fuck easy. I'm an artist. inside then okay then no work to me nico oh i love being naughty you've caught me in the right mood do your work to me nico oh i love crazy american women Hello, I'd like to see you. The mystery man returned. I did not think I'd be hearing from you again. Okay, Nico. We can go on a date. Come pick me up in the next hour. I'll be there in a bit. Let's go, my mysterious European. of my personality? I'm creating. Yeah? I've always kept diaries and, you know, got really deep thoughts. I don't go in for all the bullshit, the trivial stuff. One day when the... I was going through the stuff on www.blogsnob.org and I realized that I had to get Alex Chilton out there. I had to expose my deepest thoughts to the public. And that's when I created the Liberated Woman blog. It's as much a part of me as, um, an arm or a leg. Or a mouth, telling everyone who cares to listen about your life. That is so right. People need to hear about me. I really touch people. I'm writing a novel which is going to be so much deeper than the stuff on the blog. It's about me. It started out as a blog, but it's evolved into so much more than that. I mean, sometimes... I my first blowjob in a restroom at this place. Shit, to think that I used to love that place? Well, I still get drunk there, though. Man, I'm drunk. <laughs> cool. Oh, why? Because you think now I'll fuck you? <laughs> you're ridiculous. Oh, you're a man. What did I expect? If I wanted a conversation, I would have gone online, you freaking loser. Look at you, you're inane. Ha, ah, fucking ha, ah, inane. That's a new word. I learned another new word, preposterous, and that's what you are. I'm not. I'm great. Great, man. I'm spinning out. I shouldn't be drinking so much. At least these meds are working. Fuck, I'm drunk. Sit quietly, please. Fuck you. Whatever. about I come into your place. I'd like that, Nico. Let's go. Caught me in the right mood. Do your worst to me, Nico. Oh, I love being naughty. You've caught me in the right mood. Do your worst. I haven't seen before. Take me, biker boy. When I last met you, I got the impression that you had a good dress sense. By the way, how is the movie coming along? Oh, it fell through. But to be honest, cinema is dead. I mean, it's so old-fashioned. These days, with all the internet and videos and stuff and my blog and the 
sites like electrictit.com and stuff. Who wants a movie? Did the funding fall through? Well, that's not the point. Hey, I mean, yep, no, narrative is dead. Ass. It's done. It's all about out of your living. Oh, what would you know about this stuff? Not much. I mean, you're living it, Nico. You're an experience. You're not an intellectual. I mean, you don't care. You live. You don't think. And that's beautiful. I never think. I know. Your power, your masculinity, your freedom. In some ways, you're my muse. Thanks. But mostly I'm my own muse. <laughs> I'm going to be an important person. I think I'll change the world. Like Stalin? Yeah. I mean, something like that. Girlfriend dated the head chef here. He looked really fussy. It used to be impossible to get a table there, and you can see why. How about you invite me in? Come inside, then. We'll have fun. Oh, I love being naughty. Do your worst, Nico. You've caught me in the right mood. Oh, I love being naughty. Do your worst. How did she learn to do that? These bikes really take me back. Well, let's get going, Nico. When I last met... that you had a good dress sense. Nico, if you had to classify yourself, what would you be? I don't believe in classifying people. I think it's what we do that makes us who we are, moment to moment. Yeah, okay. But I'd say I'm a feminist. I think that every woman in this day and age should be. I mean, we don't need a man to help us get by in life. I do what I want, when I want, and that's that. I don't stop to think about what the consequences are. <laughs> It's a good thing you don't want to go out and kill people all the time. There might be some serious consequences for that. Okay, well, that's sick. You don't get what I'm saying. I mean, I will go out and order the most expensive thing on the menu, and I'll buy everything myself at Anorex Spring Summer Collection. I mean, I'll do that myself, and I won't rely on men to get me what I need. Doesn't your father pick up your credit card tabs? Oh, he doesn't count. He's not a man. He's daddy. I'll have any man I want to. Young, old, American, European. Like you. I mean, I pick you up, and I don't give a shit what my mother will say or what friends think. I won't let consequences hold me back from the moment. Anyway, the more stuff I do, the more I have to write about in my blog. And I'll put it in my novel, too. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ricky Gervais. Hi, how are you doing? Cheers, thanks. I have been known to have a go at fat people. But the truth is, I'm a bit overweight myself. No shit. <laughs> Someone shouted, no shit. Could be that. <laughs> 40 years build up. I actually had to have a medical for this tour, and I've had medicals before for TV work, and they just check your pulse and go, you're fine. But I went along to the doctor, and he said, uh, oh, it's a bit more thorough than usual. You know, it's a big tour. We need a urine sample. I've never had to do that before. So, uh, you know, I went to the toilet, filled up this little bottle he gave me, good as gold, gave it back to him. He went, oh, can you strip down to your box of shorts? I thought, this is thorough. So I stripped down to my box of shorts. Oh, for f the one day I wear white box of shorts, Big wet patch from the wing. <laughs> well, why didn't he warn me? Why did he say, be careful, I'll be checking for stains in a minute? Do you know how, 
so embarrassing. There's nothing I could do. Uh, I told my friend, and my friend went, you should have gone commando. Well, that would have been less embarrassing, wouldn't it? <laughs> so now I strip down to my box of shorts, and I go, oh, God, I've wet myself. What can I do? I know. <laughs> go commando. Do commandos not wear pants? <laughs> Why is it called go commando? They must wear pants. Are there any commandos in, do you wear? <laughs> Why are you not wearing pants? What do you mean, because we're commandos? They're going to see them. Look at this camouflage. Look at the... Well, now it's getting bigger. Why is it getting bigger? Look, look there's barbed wire. Up. You're going to lose it. Pop it away. Go, commando. But I am a bit overweight. I never worried about that before I was famous, and I'm not more vain now. It's that you read about yourself, and the papers, they need an adjective. They can't just say Ricky Gervais comedian. They say things like Ricky Gervais, tubby comedian. And I bring that into it. Ricky Gervais, rotund comedian. Rotund? That sounds like a giant fucking wombat. I'm not rotund. One called me a chubby funster. That's a gay porn name. I was jogging once, listening to some sounds on my MP3 player. Oh, yeah, looking good. Paparazzi got me, full page in the paper the next day, with a headline, I Podge. <laughs> Cheeky bastards. <laughs> Thanks very much. Good night. Reading social commentary, wasn't it? about you invite me in come inside then let's go got me in the right mood oh i love being naughty do your worst to me nico you've <laughs> caught me in the right mood oh i love being naughty she don't put that in her blog Alex, I'd like to see you. Well, this really is a surprise. Guys don't normally wait this long to call me back. Sure, I'll let you take me out. Come pick me up in the next hour. All right, I'll be there soon. European. Let's go. Thank God you got rid of that thing you were driving before. I mean, anything would be better than that. I guess you're having your other clothes washed. I mean, there can't be any other reason to be wearing these. What have you been up to? Well, I've been vlogging, and I've been doing a lot of Web 2.0 shit, and I've, uh, I've, well, all kinds of crazy things. Did you write a book? No. Nor did I. That was a joke. I wasn't planning to. Ha fucking ha. I've been really busy. Cool. Listen, my life is not empty, jackass. It's amazing. I have crazy adventures. The other day, I met this guy, and I slept with him, and I wrote about it on my blog. Isn't that what you do quite often? No. I'm liberated. I'm free. You can't control me, typical misogynist. Women can be artists, too. No doubt. Why are you so angry? I don't know, because I can't get my shit together. Oh, fuck, it is together. I'm, uh, it is together. Sorry. I'm sorry. Man. <sighs> we are going to have the best time. Let's go, Nico. I hope the good mixologist is on tonight. Get 
Okay, so this is going to be wrapping up the Alex uh, videos. Man, I'm loaded. I can't wait to get online. Like I mentioned, all the women are kind of on the psycho side, and uh, I love how uh, <clears throat> she says uh, she takes care of herself, and but her dad pays her credit card bills. Nico kind of points that out, but anyway. Uh, It is what it is as far as uh, the females go, and as far as her special ability, I didn't really use it this time through Grand Theft IV. Uh, I, like I said, I don't buy a whole lot of clothes, and I got plenty of money, so her special ability just didn't really come into play. But Nico always deserves a little booty action, and uh, Alex's commentary through that is pretty much the same every time you take her upstairs. So, anyway, uh, that's a look at Alex, and we're going to get to the other females here. Uh, next on the hit list is uh, Carmen, and this is what happens when you decide to break up with them. Okay, so this is at the end of the game. Don't really know whether or not you can find them again online to redate them. Why would you? If you're liking the videos, we appreciate the thumbs up and subscribing.